Welcome to Strike Stroke. My name is Dr. Magdus. I'm a third year neurology resident. My passion is to learn neurology and teach you what I know. And today I would like to talk to you about basilar artery occlusive stroke. Having your basilar artery occlusive stroke is like having your lights cut off. It carries 85 to 95% mortality rate. But why? So let's try to understand the reason. What area of the brain does the basilar artery supply? The basilar artery belongs to the vertebrobasilar system, which feeds the back of the brain. The two vertebral arteries coming from the right and left come to join in the back of the brain to form the basilar artery. The basilar artery then sends up branches to supply the brainstem, thalamus, cerebellum, and occipital lobe. We're going to pay close attention to the brainstem. It is one of the most critical portion of the brain that is supplied by the basilar artery. The brainstem is located between the cerebral hemisphere and the spinal cord and is responsible to keeping us alive. It contains 10 of the 12 cranial nerves. It regulates what seems to be automatic, such as breathing, swallowing, and our heart rate. It contains a reticular activating system, which regulates arousal and sleep-wake transition. It also serves as a highway or a connection point between the brain and the rest of the body, information flowing from outside in to the brain and from the brain down to the rest of the body. If an individual is to have an occlusion within the basilar artery, because it is one artery that branches off, supplies the brainstem, the thalamus, the occipital lobe, and the cerebellum, they are at risk of having a major stroke. They are at risk of losing the ability to function independently, such as to be able to breathe on their own, to be able to swallow independently, to be able to regulate their heart rate and their heart function independently. They are at risk of losing the reticular activating system, which keeps us aware, awake. Since they cannot breathe on their own, they might become ventilator dependent. They might have to be on a feeding tube because they cannot swallow or they're not awake enough to feed themselves or be fed by another individual. Additionally, having a stroke in the basilar artery or having a stroke in the brainstem will lead to disconnection between the cerebral hemisphere and the rest of the body. So you can see why having a basilar artery occlusive stroke carries a high mortality rate. And we can conclude from this that we don't really need much of the cerebral hemispheres to be alive I guess the definition of alive might differ from one individual to another, but to be alive in the simplest form would be to be able to breathe regular heart rate. Then the brainstem is all that is needed. But if we want to be ourselves, be an individual that has perception of the world, react, emotion, form memories, enjoy life, food, love, etc., we do need the cerebral hemispheres in combination with the brainstem to be able to do all these things and be a unique individual like we all are. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information useful since we are talking about the posterior circulation. In the next episode, we'll talk about cortical blindness or Anton syndrome. And always remember to dial 911 if you or someone near you suddenly can't see, can't speak, can't walk, or can't feel. Let the operator know that you or someone near you might be having a stroke so that you or the individual near you can be transported to the nearby comprehensive or primary stroke center for rapid stroke analysis and tailored treatment.